breadth first search is the first of the uninformed search methods that we're going to be looking at. The others will be uniform cost search, depth first search, depth limited search, and iterative deepening search. And in the next module, we'll be moving on to informed search methods, including greedy search and A star search. All of these searches begin with just the start node, which is a RAD. And then we expand that node by generating all of the nodes that we can move to from that node, which in this case is Zerind, Sibiu, and Timiswara. These three nodes can then be expanded in any order, so we might expand Zerind first, followed by the other two. So we have an inner circle of nodes which have been expanded already, and then we have an outer circle which includes nodes that have been generated but not yet expanded. And every step of the algorithm involves choosing one of these nodes and expanding it. So if we happen to choose Fagoras first, then we'll get to the goal very quickly. If we're unlucky, we may choose to expand all of these other nodes first and Fagoras at the end. Sometimes we speed up the algorithm by avoiding repeated states along a path. So if, for example, we went from a rad to Sibiu and back to a rad, we would avoid expanding this version of a rad because any path which includes this loop is bound to be longer than a path that we obtain by cutting out the loop and just dialing it direct. If we do expand the repeated states, the algorithm will still work, but it'll just take longer. Also note, although the nodes within a depth can be expanded in any order, we are required to expand all the nodes at depth 1 before we move on to the nodes at depth 2, and then expand all the nodes at depth 2 before we move on to depth 3, and so on. And for that reason, with breadth first search, we can stop the algorithm as soon as the goal node is generated. We don't have to wait for it to be expanded, because at this point, only the nodes within two steps of the start node have been expanded, and therefore only the nodes within three steps of the start node have been generated. So the algorithm is optimal in the sense that it's guaranteed to find the shortest solution in terms of the number of steps. Now, if these edges have different distances, then it may happen that another path has more steps, but when you add up the total distance of the path, it may be shorter than this one. So if we want to find the shortest distance path rather than the fewest number of steps, then we have to move on to uniform cost search, which is the topic of the next video.